What's up, guys? You probably recognize this beautiful face. Stop it. Back on the job with my girl. Hey, guys. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Emma Willis is here. Hello. Um, <laughs> the glow queen herself. Thank you. That's I, you. I like that title. We like doing that glowy, everyday look, but I feel like people kind of get scared of that summer glow in the winter. Like, yes. People, that is crazy. They like, shouldn't. You Don't. shouldn't. So today we're going to do a winter summer glow. So I'm fresh face right now. And think Sorry. of the winter, cooler months, skin gets drier. So I love to really give it that uh, glow from within before the makeup. Prepping is so important. It's all about skin prep, guys. I love it. Today, I'm going to be doing Super Rich Repair by Dermalogica. We like to moisturize the crap out of our skin. And this is what I use actually every night and every morning anyway, so I found it from you, actually. So, I, oh. <laughs> the funny thing is, I feel like I've learned so many things from Emma doing my makeup to the point where I feel like I have the entire routine down. I do my makeup myself every single day, basically. She doesn't need me anymore. I do, because for some reason, I will do the exact same thing that you do, but my makeup never stays the whole day. So what is your secret? I couldn't tell you the secret, because then like, everyone will know. I think... And my job will be obsolete. I swear to you guys, there is something magical in her hands, because I literally do the same thing. <laughs> But seriously, what, why is it that like when I do my makeup, it doesn't last all day? I get asked this a lot, actually. It's all about layering. That's the technique. Layering, layering, layering. People sometimes think that when I say something like that, or people think of layers, they think, oh, you're Caking gonna... it on. Yeah. And people don't like that. It's very fine, sheer, thin layers, and eventually that kind of just lends to it. Don't use too many powders right. or like setting powders. So now we're doing lip balm. I love to um, prep the lips uh, at the beginning of the makeup, and this is um, Intensive Lip Repair Treatment by Elizabeth Arden. Love this so stuff. So good. I sleep with this too. Because I always just try to like lather up my entire skin at night, I feel like in the winter. Do you sleep with the jar just by your head? I, it's literally on my nightstand. It's the greatest ever. Okay. A funny thing, I get asked this all the time. It's when I was on The Bachelor, when you're one of 25 girls, um, you do your own hair and makeup and it's kind of a nightmare. I couldn't think of anything worse. It's literally. I'm doing eye cream while you continue yeah. to do that story. What is that, the banana, what banana, is that? Banana bright eyes. Did you use this on me before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this is, yeah. okay, this cool. This is great stuff. Though. What does that do? Um, it gives you brightness. Need that. Brightness in a jar. All banana day bright long. eyes. Need I say any more? So I did my own hair and makeup when I was on Ben's season of The Bachelor. I like doing my own hair and makeup, so it wasn't a problem for me. But when I was The Bachelorette, I did have a makeup artist. She's been with the show. Her name is Gina. She is amazing. But I did do my own hair the entire season. So I didn't have any help for that. I'm very particular about my makeup artists too. Because I feel like when you know how to do your own makeup, it's very hard to let somebody else do it. So they have she's, to be the best. She's very particular. I remember one of the first times we met as well. I've got, I don't was know if I you being, remember. Was I crazy? We did some tan. I, did, I, wore, I bronzed her up. And, uh, was I being crazy? No, I just remember you being like, I'm really tan. And I was like, Emma, I think I'm too tan, which is yes. crazy to say. Yes, he was like, I think I'm too tan. I was like, it's, it's okay. You know, there's a like, fine even, line. Yeah. Okay, so next step is going to be foundation. Oh, I want to show them the Vita Liberata. I love this stuff, and I want to show y'all this particular product because when I am not tan or I feel like I, I need a good little glow, this stuff is amazing, and it literally changes your whole life. It's seriously, it's like magic in a bottle. I love this stuff so much. Guys and girls, anyone out there, guys? You, you need this in guys. Your, guys. Oh, yeah, okay, guys. Guys like makeup. <laughs> um, this is hence why it's called body blur. People will be like, oh, how can I use it on my face as well? We do. We do. You've got to be very careful with the face because it's very, it is designed for the body and as well. And it's thick. It's, that's the thing. Thick. It's thick and it's very, very luminous. When we went to the Victoria's Secret Fashion Show, there's a photo of Beck and I where you see our legs and so many people are like, what is on your legs to make them that smooth and shiny? It's this stuff. This is not a product endorsement. Just know this is all genuine stuff that we love. Yeah, totally. We're gonna do that winter glow. Um, so we're gonna bronze her up a little bit, but I like to use the latte. Definitely around the perimeters of the face and around the neck. 
I wouldn't recommend maybe using this one on your skin every day because I think I have noticed when I use the body blur one, the yep. one for your body, on yep. my face a lot. I do feel a little congestion. So oh. that's why I think this, the face one is probably better for day to day. Yeah, definitely, this yeah. one here. And this can be used alone or under foundation. foundation yeah. Let's do it. So I'm just using a buffing, a big buffing brush and I'm buffing it in my hand and then whirling around first and then I'm just gonna buff it in. It's like you went on a holiday vacation to Bali and you came back and everyone's really jealous of your glow. I like that. I like it. Bali. For t but I've never even been to Bali. Nor I, let's go. I need to go. Okay. Sorry, yeah. continue. Also as well, uh, girls and guys out there, tips and tricks and things like this, um, always remember to buff the ear areas and uh, around the neck. This is the only creaming product as a bronzing product that I would put around the neckline. Normally, I would only go in around the neck and the ear area and the jawline with a powder bronzer. Why is that? You don't want makeup, oh. per se. You know, foundations and too heavily yeah, congested with creams around like the neck area. Another tip is really stand back. I mean, people do their makeup in the mirror and they're really so close, close and it's yeah. like, I always advise people to stand back from the mirror and look at kind of your face and neck and arm areas. And in natural light. Yes. Because the much bathroom as you can. here yeah. is yeah. the lighting in your bathroom obviously is so different than natural daylight. As you can see, we have just prepped the skin. And sometimes, girls, a little bit of blush now to this and a gloss. You look healthy. Healthy. A healthy peachy Glowy. pink glow. Yeah, I love like it. it. Now I'm going to add a little bit of blush. I'm going to use Elizabeth Arden's Cool Glow. This is Berry Rush. You can actually use this on the lips. I use, use this on the lips. I like that Actually on you I've used this mm -hmm. on the lips before. Um, and it gives that kind of finish of an iridescence to it as well. Smile. Mm -hmm. And then you add it to that flush and the coral one I've used on you as well. The coral one's good. Um, and I use my fingers. You can use a brush for this as well. Again, remember the layers, guys. Layering, layering, layering. layering. But still, I'm like, you know, you can see JoJo's skin. You can still see skin. The, the colors all pick up through the layers. Also, side note, guys, whenever your makeup artist is also your friend, just tack on like an hour to the time that it takes to finish because we might be here for a while. <laughs> Grab a cup of tea. Sit down, Biscuits, hang out. Hang out, come chill with us. <laughs> There's a few foundations I love and that are my staples in my kit, but I absolutely love Aqua Luminous by Becca Cosmetics. I have a lot of freckles, and I like my freckles kind of on my like nose and cheek, but I don't like them to always show through around my like my mouth or my like forehead per se. So this also is buildable to where you can show through some freckles that you want and you can also cover them, which is great. And then I'm gonna put it down the T-zone area and then with a beauty blender, buff out. And you guys, you've gotta to remember to really drench these beauty blenders. I can't stress enough, wet these. And then just like squeeze down. it under the water, like a ton of time to kind of just get it to really absorb. Keep squeezing yes. it and squeezing it. Um, and then I'm gonna, um, I like to pat. Pat and dab, that's also another tech of, technique of mine, pat and dab. So explain the pat and dab method, Emma. I just find the whole rubbing things in. Abrasive. Abrasive, like... I think a lot of people forget that. Also with skin prep, they'll get moisturizers and balms and stuff and they just like rub it all over their face. And actually, it's kind of really not giving it any effect at all. You're gonna kind of warm it in your fingertips and like pat it. Okay, so onto concealer. I'm going to, underneath the eye area, I'm going to kind of do a little like, color corrector with medium to deep um, eye brightener before I go in with um, the uh, NARS concealers. These are great. Because it's an early morning, you guys. And I have dark circles. Are they bad right now? They're not too bad. But sometimes you need to. That was her being very nice. Sometimes you need to just like in this area here and just into that inner corner of the eye, just give that color corrector the chance to work its magic. magic. <laughs> you need to counteract blue, grayness area of this with a more peach, warmer peach um, color before you go in with the yellowy concealers. This is the part that I think Emma does that I obviously don't do day to day because I'm so quick in the morning, I like zoop zoop, 
Oop, and that's probably why yours is better. And around the nose, yes. those red broken capillaries, girls and guys, the redness around here, and then around the mouth area as well. And remember guys, there's, you know, there's great variations at drugstores, CVS, Rite Aid, like Maybelline, L'Oreal, do some really good, um, uh, really do good foundations and concealers. And a good little tip as well, uh, even just a really good orange or red or berry lipstick works great as a whole look. Before I met you, I never would have thought that I could take like a lip gloss and use it on my lips, on my cheeks, on my eyes, and it's like a one-stop shop. So get like a really pretty like pinkish color and you can use it anywhere. Back to the layering again. Now I'm gonna go in again with a little bit more of the uh, berry rush. Just on top. <laughs> Jackson's tired. Jackson's tired, but he agrees. He agreed with me. <gasps> the layers. Okay, so next up, I also love using uh, I class as one stop shop. So you can do the whole face. So I'm going in with the bronze Bondi, and now I'm literally just kind of like going into the high temples uh, and the forehead. People sometimes forget um, the forehead section and that's like a real, oh, you know, exactly. telltale. It's nice to know that you can do a face with not having to use so many brushes. You can really get by with just using a couple of brushes in your fingers. Seriously, you can. Another thing that I used to not do is clean my own makeup brushes like really ever and then to just think about all the bacteria and crap that's you sitting not? on them. I know I would clean them but not that often. Okay. This was years ago, I swear. Okay, yeah. She's like very upset with me by this. <laughs> what do you use to clean your brushes? What's an easy thing that you use sometimes just Pantene like Pro V shampoo? I here. shampoo and condition yeah. my brushes. I have done for years. I spritz them with alcohol first and then I will um, uh, use shampoo and condition. I use shampoo on my beauty blenders. Okay to clean them. Just think about what's sitting on those brushes if you haven't cleaned them. Okay, and I'm gonna go in with Winterberry. I've done the cream, a tinted cream um, blush underneath, and then you want to sort of like dab and sort of brush up. And you kind of want that sort of wintry flush of color on the cheeks. Think about all the faces you make in the mirror when you're doing your makeup. You're almost gonna realize it. Oh, I know. yeah. It's like so many different moods. The mascara one's the best when you go. <laughs> people, Why people do, do we do that? People do that. You need to get, everyone needs to have a small fan brush to do mascara. I'll show you that when we get onto <gasps> mascara. Now we're gonna go in with the eyes. Again, I'm using the same palette. And uh, with that bronzing um, powder that I went into, I'm actually going to go into the sockets of the eyes. Again, thinking of that monochromatic um, uh, finish and look. Pat it, buff it, and swirl it. Is there any like little trick to like? Well, you just you want a light, you want a light touch, light and touch a light okay. touch, and you want to really swirl it around, really swirl those um, bristles around. Oh boy, he's back. Okay, hi Jackson. <laughs> Jackson just wants makeup. He just busted it. We have an electronic dog door in this house, so he's definitely utilizing it. Some people just forget to, because they just don't know, really. You know, if you don't know, you don't know, do you? Until you know. And now you know. And now you might know. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, you want to bring the color right out to sort of the, you know, where that brow brow bow at the end, at the end of the brow um, uh, is. This is the part that's the hardest for me too, guys. So if you're trying this at home and it's not looking right, I am there with you. Okay, oh. with a smaller, more dense brush, look up, I'm actually gonna bring that all below the lash, the same, the same bronzer that I've used. So for me personally, I don't love eyeliner on my bottom waterline. I feel like yeah. if you do um, black liner sometimes in the waterline, it makes your eyes look smaller. I love thin brow pencils. Um, Jojo's brows are great, so I go in with one and I just fleck in certain areas. And then a clear brow gel to really brush up the brows. Does anyone else have like one like bad brow? Like oh, I have always. one brow that's really good and then I have one that's like the weaker yeah. sibling to it. They're, si they're sisters, not twins. Exactly. Like... Is that just me? No. Okay. Brow gel, guys, and girls. Fluff up those brows, Fluff baby. Up. 
Go. Uh, you remember the days when like skinny little eyebrows were a thing and we like tweezed the crap out of our eyebrows oh my when God. we were younger? I'm not even sure if they were a thing. I, I don't know, think, I but I did just, it. I think people just, oh my gosh, yeah. And now like the, the fuller, the messier that I can get my eyebrows to grow, like I want them to grow like oh my, that. Yes. Like, it's so funny. Brows are such a big thing for your face. They really brows give that shape to your face. have had like such a huge moment in the last yeah. couple years. Brows have made a name for themselves. They have. Wow. Good, good for the brows. Yeah. This, because of all the layering that we're doing, this will literally last me all day into the night. And then if I need to like jazz it out, like I said, throw on a like a plum sort of lip, layer on some more mascara to give it a more dramatic look, and then literally I'm set. Okay, now I'm using a fan brush, and I love to do the mascara with these with the, with these brushes. Why? Why do you do that? I don't do that. I like this because you can really get into the top of the root of the lash. This is where I'm staring into her soul. Yeah. She doesn't even know it. I'm just focused on those lashes. Oh! <laughs> Mascara is often added to hair. I wouldn't worry about it. Actually, that's a good tip. So, guys and girls, if you have grey roots, yes, thank dark, God I don't. A dark brown mascara, not black. Don't use black unless you've got jet black hair. <laughs> this is a totally other episode we can get to. So, with a Q-tip, I'm just going to take a little bit of the balm and smile, and then I'm just going to take off any kind of residue that's on the lip, just so that like my natural lip color comes through. Smile. I'm actually going to just add a little, tiny little bit of the um, Berry Rush. This is the stuff she used on my cheeks earlier. Yeah. So like I said, she's using the same product, which is great. Extra sheen just on the on your hand from a little bit of the balm or something like that. You can just like, you know, pat on to the high points. Do I look like I just got back from Bali? Did, yeah. we, did we nail it? All right, yeah. Emma's going to be doing her touch-ups. But thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys subscribe, and I will see y'all next time. Bye.